Hey guys, Casual Game 84. Welcome back to the game room. And today I'm gonna do an unboxing for you all, um, like many you've seen before. Uh, but this video, I'm just gonna talk a little bit more about the company that I ordered this from, and that is Tell Your Friends Games and Collectibles. Uh, they're constantly hooking me up. That's why I keep going back. So if you want to see what's in this box, stick around. Alright guys, so you're all probably just as curious what's in this box as I am. Although I know what I ordered. Uh, tell your friends games collectibles. Chris over there always hooks me up with a bunch of extras. And in fact, you go to their website. I'll put a link down here. Uh, and they will hook you up as well. Uh, they send out extras with uh, with their orders. It may not be something super mojo wham doola. Uh, but it's still, it's cool that they send you know anything. A Hot Wheels, a little trinket a figure or a comic book or something they don't have to do that it's awesome if they do that uh, that's one of the reasons why i keep going back not to mention the customer service uh, i can get hold of chris and he takes care of anything that i need uh, i think this is like my 11th order from them uh, so i've ordered from them quite a bit uh, i always like uh, getting the box because you never know what it's going to have on it uh, i got some super mario world on this side uh, on this side uh, looks like uh, Tell Your Friends Games and Collectibles is a Mac Miller fan. A little bit of Mac Miller on that side. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, open this up and see what's in here. So as far as like the extras and stuff go, I have no idea what's in here. Uh, so you all will see my reaction. Uh, raw, unedited, uncut. Uh, something else that I like that Chris does uh, is he puts a piece of cardboard on top to uh, keep me from cutting stuff. So, this is something else uh, that I want to share with you all. Uh, he told me he was going to do this, uh, but uh, it's cool that he did. That's cool. Uh, Men at Arms printout. Uh, that's cool. Uh, what else we got? That's my packing slip. Alright, so, uh, something that he's doing that's cool. Uh, he's giving me a exclusive discount code. Uh, one time use. 20% off of any item. So that is your benefit right there uh casual gaming for exclusive 20 percent off of any one item one time use you heard it from tim is the code use that code at checkout get 20 percent off of that item uh so come here i'm gonna tell you a little secret then don't tell chris but it's gonna take that 20 percent off of the lowest priced item so if you want something big buy it by itself get more off that item so again, you heard it from Tim, use that coupon code at checkout, you'll get 20% off of one item at tellyourfriendsgamescollectibles.com, that is T-Y-F-G dot online, actually I was wrong at dot com, um, one time use, you heard it from Tim. Alright, so there's some stuff in here and I don't really know, got some notes. This is an extra special gift for me. That's big, whatever it is. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. So, I like all things retro, all things 80s and 90s. And this, my friends is a Nickelodeon bowling pin. I have no idea where I'm going to put this thing, but I'm going to put it somewhere because it's pretty awesome. Uh, pretty hefty too. 
so that's cool. Uh, how many of y'all out there have a Nickelodeon bowling pin? I do. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate that. I'm going to lay it on the floor so I don't knock over and break a bunch of stuff. All right, so we'll get right into some games. Uh, in the bubble, bubble wraps, each one individually, which is nice. Uh, they're good and protected. They don't rub together and rattle around and whatnot, uh, which is always good. So first one's the NES title. Uh, it's one I didn't have. It's a common one. That is Wrath of the Black Manta. Label's in really good shape. Cartridge is overall really good shape. Glad to add that to the collection. We'll do another NES. And again, it's in really good shape. Uh, it belonged to Danny Pollard at one point in time. That's okay, I can get that off of there. That is Ikari Warriors on the uh, Nintendo. Uh, and this one, it said there, oops, uh, my mistake, you're a gain. Uh, they had a uh, cartridge only listing of uh, Judge Dredd and I ordered it and I guess they didn't have it or it wasn't in stock or something like that but he hooked me up with a complete in box copy of it so this is one of like four five now complete in box games I got the box is in decent shape actually you never really can tell in these protectors it's awesome that he put it in a protector I actually just bought a bunch of these I bought one for my inbox console some for my sealed uh, 3ds games um, and a couple for Super Nintendo games so it's awesome that he threw that in there but you never really can tell with the condition of the box with this case the box is in good shape it is a rental which is okay with me Uh, I had this conversation with uh, a buddy, my, well, my buddy Brian, that gave me all those Game Boy games uh, the other day. And I like rentals. Um, a lot of people don't. They'll try to get the stickers and whatnot off of them. Um, the manual seems to be in good shape. I like the fact that it's got a manual. It was LJN and Acclaim Games. This is an Acclaim game. Uh, you never really know if you're going to be able to play the game without the manual or not. Uh, it does have the dust protector and the cardboard insert in it as well. Uh, please be kind. Rewind sticker on it. This came from Video Station. Uh, Columbus Parkway. So it is a uh, good overall cartridge. With the exception, of course, the stickers. They're all over it. Labels good other than the one that's across the front of it. But I like, I like rentals nonetheless. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, that is a pretty good upgrade. Um, I love getting inbox stuff and add it to the collection. Uh, I was actually talking to someone today, and I'm going to do a video on them a little later. Uh, but I was talking to them today, and I got a, something from them. Uh, and we just got talking about inbox stuff. Like, it amazes me that these boxes have lasted as long as they have. Especially this one, because it was a rental. I guess... Maybe that's why it lasted. But let's see if there's a date on this. 1991. So, 30 years ago, 30 year old box. That's crazy. I'm going to put this right back in this protector. That's awesome. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate the upgrade. What else do we got? Another NES title. Um, and I don't know why I seen this at. I seen it on uh, somebody's uh, hidden gems or top ten or something like that. But it is Legendary Wings on uh, NES, and it is a Capcom game. 
So it is probably pretty good. I believe it is a shooter. Uh, and then some disc based stuff. So some more modern stuff. Let's go ahead and unwrap both of these. So I mentioned that I was trying to build up my my GameCube collection. So I got some GameCube stuff. Uh, some looks to be decent stuff too uh, from them. Uh, it is complete. It even has the uh, uh, subscribe to Nintendo Power pamphlet and stuff in it. Manual. Disc is in good shape. It's in a GameCube case. I always love it when they're in the GameCube cases. But I got Wave Race Blue Storm for GameCube. Uh, I liked Wave Race 64. Uh, I believe this is the sequel to that that came out on the GameCube. So glad to add more GameCube to the collection. And then I picked up Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Uh, it looks kind of like a platformer, I would assume, from what I've seen. I didn't watch any gameplay or anything. Uh, but for those of you all that are younger than me watching the channel... Uh, that's how we used to have to pick our games at the video store. Uh, we would grab the case, we'd look at it, we'd turn it around. We would read the little synopsis on the back, look at the little pictures they had on there, and that's what we would base it on. Sometimes we did not pick good games. Uh, but it is complete as well. Disc is in really good shape. It's in a GameCube case. And it has all the paperwork and stuff with it as well. Uh, it's made by THQ and they do pretty good with platformers and stuff um, I really enjoyed their uh, wrestling games uh, but two more GameCube games for the collection that's everything folks uh, so again check them out tell your friends games and collectibles www.tyfg.online you heard it from Tim. Use that code at checkout. You'll get 20% off of one item. It's a one-time use, so use it wisely. Uh, again, thank you, Chris. I appreciate the upgrade, and I appreciate this really cool bowling pin. Uh, i got to find somewhere to put it so I can display it. Uh, but it is really cool. Uh, there's another uh, YouTuber that I watch a lot. Some of y'all probably watch him, Retro Rick. Uh, Rick, if you're watching, I think you would probably like this bowling pin because uh, it's something that's right up your alley. But guess what? It's mine. So if you all have not done so, hit that subscribe button. If you like the content, hit that like button. Ring that bell for notifications, and you will be notified when I post a video for you. So until next time.